Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, the pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. And this week is a milestone week for our Daily Devos for we are finishing our months long exploration of Paul's letter to the church in Rome. Today we are looking at the 16th and final chapter of Roman verses one and two. Hear now these words. I commend to your care our sister Phoebe, who is a minister of the church at Cantrea, and I ask you to give her a Christian welcome, one worthy of Christ's people, and to aid her in any matter in which she may need your assistance. She has proved herself a staunch friend and protector, and to many others. Paul's description of Phoebe, his commendation of Phoebe, leaves me wanting to know more about this person. Now, in case you haven't figured it out, Phoebe is a woman. She is his sister Phoebe, not in a sense of they are brother and sister by parentage, but brother and sister in Christ Jesus. And Paul says this is a woman you need to work with. You need to welcome her. You need to assist her. She is a genuine follower of Jesus Christ. She is an example of everything that Paul has encouraged the people in Rome to be as followers of Jesus, to be a person being transformed by the renewing of her mind, to have the impact of sin being mitigated and eliminated out of her life, that her love is becoming sincere, and as far as she is able, she is living at peace with everyone. So what do we do with the dichotomy of Paul's glowing description of Phoebe as a leader in the church and other places where Paul is quoted as being totally against women as leaders in the church. I'm thinking about places like 1 Corinthians 14 where it says women should remain silent in the church. Or in 1 Timothy 2, I do not allow a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Now those two verses, those two descriptions in those letters, they have to be taken just as seriously as this commendation of Phoebe as a leader is, and we have to work our way through the tension. Are women appropriate as leaders? Are they not appropriate as leaders in the church, including and especially over men? I'm going to err on the side of being one of Phoebe's staunch friends and supporters. I think that there is enough evidence for us to understand that when Paul is talking in Corinthians and in Timothy about the limitations on women, he does not intend these to be a blanket, cover every situation, but rather those are specific, contextually driven moments. I don't have time in this Devo to dive into the details of this, but you can find all kinds of resources that help us understand the controversy around men and women as leaders in the church. So today, I'm gonna to join Paul in commending Phoebe and wanting her leadership example over and including me. How about you? What are your thoughts on this situation? Share them in the comments below, but please keep it civil. And I'll see you tomorrow for another daily devotion.